Hey folks, it's Evan here at Eldorado RV and today we are going to have a look at this 2011 Monaco Vesta 32 PBS. Let's go check it out. Okay folks, here she is. This is a funny looking motorhome, isn't it? We got a front engine diesel, the 2011 Monaco 32 PBS. It's a Vesta. Gorgeous paint. It looks amazing still, even after 60,000 miles. Massive carefree awning up there. We got frameless dual pane windows, but we're going to talk more about the outside in a minute. For now, let's go inside and then we'll get to the outside at the end. Okay, folks, let's head inside. We got an electric step right there, two steps up. We got your battery box and some nice lights on the side there. Now, let me just shut the door behind me. Quick look at what's going on in the living room. But let's talk about the cockpit first. So first off, the sun's really bright, so sorry if it's kind of dark on the edges. But we've got tons of visibility up front. There's shades for all the windows. You got a proper shade for the front window. You can see it there, that black one. Again, tons of visibility. You got side cameras and backup cameras. Those side cameras are in the mirrors there. And your windows do open. They're sliding windows. We got really comfy chairs up front. And I love this. I love this leatherette, this cream. It's super nice. They don't really use it anymore. It was kind of a late 2000s, early 2010s thing. But at least from what I see. But they're powered, they're reclining and swiveling. You got armrests on both sides. Here's a look at your steering wheel. This is an international custom chassis with the Max Force 6.4 liter diesel. So you've got air brakes and air auto level. It's got 58,600 miles or so. Look at your dash. Here's all the stuff on the side. Oh, the sun's bugging me. There we go. Your transmission controls, your radio, this little piece right here. That is to control the screen that's in your dash. Got some cup holders and some storage down here, as well as power, both 12 volt and 120. Really nice dash. It's leather, soft touch leatherette. There's a big storage area for the passenger. There's tons of leg room for the passenger as well. And both sides have a control for the front shade and map light. Above the, above the chairs, we got plenty of cabinetry, some lights, some speakers. That's all hardwood cabinetry. Very nice stuff. Monaco was one of the higher end manufacturers and this is no exception. It's really, really nice. You can see we've got a blackout shade here as well. So that comes down super far. You can kinda, you can lift the steering wheel up and out of the way and then you can pull that down and pull the side shades down and get some privacy, block out the light, what have you. And it just hides away under the cabinetry. Now turning our attention to the living area. Really comfy leatherette sofa there. We got windows. This is the only slide in this unit. Have a look at this valence though. Everything in here is hardwood and man is it nice. The craftsmanship, this is what I love to see. Rounded cabinets here, you can kind of see like Euro style. Again, the wooden valences with some fabric up top. Really comfy couch, turns into a bed. Then we've got your dinette. Super comfortable. I love these kind of boat style dinettes. You see these in a lot of higher end stuff. 
and from this era things like Regencies uh, from Triple E. Triple E did a lot of these kind of boat style dinettes. And look at how thick that table is. And it matches the kitchen. So your kitchen's using the same countertop, solid surface. It's not branded Corian, but it's nice stuff. Really thick. Nice round sink. Oh, that's heavy. With a very heavy sink cover. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, here's your control panels when you walk in the door. One of my favorite little features on this is that there is a, a little voltage display and you can turn off the slide control and voltage display. You got your monitor panels, all the usual stuff, your generator, big generator in this, it's a diesel of course, an Onan. All your controls, your auto level, climate, it's all in there. Now this has dual 13,500 BTU air conditioners that are also heat pumps. Convection microwave because there's no oven in this. Nice big upper cabinet. I like this rounded lower one as well. We've got some drawers. There's plenty of storage. I mean, this is only 33 feet long overall. So you can't expect there to be a ton of space, but they did really well with what they've got. We got a fantastic fan above the kitchen that you can see there. Boom. Decent sized fridge. Here's a wardrobe right here. I'll pop open for you. With some hanging space. That shelf is fully adjustable. You can put it wherever you want in there. And we've got a big drawer down here as well. Close that up. The flooring in here, if you didn't already notice, is quite nice. Alternating tile. Got a TV right here that is blocked when you're in transit, when your slide is closed. But the slide only takes a second to put out and you do have a TV in your bedroom as well. And your bedroom is fully functional with the slide closed. So let's walk back here. Got your shower on the left with a fantastic fan up in the middle in the roof. Big shower. This is a little pocket door here. It closes everything off. Let me pop open the shower for you. Start at the top, got a nice skylight. And plenty of room in there. Now here is a look at your bedroom. Tons of cabinets up above. You got a nice mirror back there and some reading lights, as well as side tables that have power and reading lights on them. Nice long full length queen. There's some drawers underneath the front here. And there's a pocket door to separate your bedroom from your bathroom as well. Windows on both sides. Here's your TV up there. And there is a bit of a step up to the bed. It's all carpeted, it's all really nice. There's some drawers up there. Here, let me show ya. You see we got lights, we got power, some speakers above your head beside the reading lights. Now, for your bathroom. One thing to note, the doors in here, well this door, is solid wood. Tons of light in the bathroom. You got a window. There's another fantastic fan in here. So there is a lot of fans. You can get a lot of air moving through here. That is what you think it is. There's a bidet. Got a big medicine cabinet here. With a nice little strap to stop 
bottles from falling. And some more storage up top. And me. There's a little shelf right here, which I quite like. Decent sized sink, matching countertop, matching backsplash, which the backsplash is framed by the countertop. Really cool. Really, really cool. I like all the rounded stuff in here as well. You can see some more rounded wood there. Plenty of storage underneath. And oh, out we go. See, solid door. Vinyl padded roof, of course. And look at that, isn't that welcoming? We wake up in the morning to that. Yes, please. It's a gorgeous motorhome. And there's so many things that I haven't told you, I'm sure. It's easy to forget when you're looking at something like this. So I'll put those in the description. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head outside, take a quick walk around there, and uh, finish her up. Okay, here we are back outside again. Give you a good look at the outside. I mean, look at that front end. Kind of a weird shape. Super aerodynamic though. Uh, we've seen about 15 miles per gallon on the highway with this. Massive awning up there. It runs to, it's about three quarters of the way down. Down that big line is where the awning is. Again, dual pane frameless windows. We got tons of storage, which I'm gonna show you here. We got a battery compartment up here. A little bit hard to see because the sun's so darn bright. One compartment, two compartments. This one's connected. No, this one's not connected, sorry. Ha ha. Propane right there, plenty of propane. There's your fridge and your furnace. You got your water heater over there. All super easy to access. And back here. We've got some more storage. Now all of these are rotocast, but they're steel bottomed as well. So because the chassis is fully custom, it was all built with steel skirts, steel, uh, steel bottoms for the compartments so that you can load them up. This thing was really well built. Now I believe, I might have the figure a little bit wrong, but I believe there is an 11 layer paint on this, which is why it looks so darn good. Now look at the size of this rear cap. It's huge, it starts like two feet from the very back. And it's molded, it's not reused. Really, really nice. And it helps with the aerodynamics again. Now this compartment that I was trying to show you is enormous. It passes all the way through and it is huge. So there's tons of storage, tons. Nice slam latch doors. There's a look at that cap again. Got a slide topper on the slide there. That's a Schwinn Tech, so it's fully electric. And then a bunch more of the same storage down this side all your windows, and your generator is on this side as well. I can't quite get to it. <clears throat> right in that compartment, tucked away under the slide. And here is your side camera on the mirror. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.